An education and healthcare plan is a legal document that is compiled by the local authority in conjunction with the child or young person, parent carer, their current school, so it might be the SENCO. Uh, lots of professionals should be asked for their input, so it's people like educational psychologists, perhaps CAMs if they've been involved, um, a whole host of people, and actually anybody that the parent or carer feels should be reasonably consulted with. So they all come together, they produce reports, and all of that information goes into the EHCP. So we're looking at um, what are the special educational needs of the child, what outcomes do we want for that child, and what provision is needed in order to meet the needs of the child. It's a document that has to contain, contain certain sections. Lots of local authorities put EHCPs together in different ways, so they'll look different from one authority to another. One local authority might have a pink logo, another one's got a blue one. They may split their sections out in different ways, and that's all absolutely fine, as long as that plan contains sections A to K, covers the needs, the outcomes, the provision, that's required for that young person.